Certainly. All right, we are starting session 13. Yeah, go ahead if you want to, Dwight. Do you want me to recap the last game? Yeah, if you don't mind. You do. Where did the last... Oh, oh let, me, let me check real quick. Take a quick look at where the last game ended. All right. After destroying the army of the undead, the party made its way back to the mountain tower and found it under siege by orcs and a troll. And after some difficulty, the party defeated the troll twice and then destroyed it. The party returned to New Ashter and found New Ashter was under attack by a horde of dragons. They assisted some soldiers in uh, destroying two dragons at one of the gates as they entered. After that, the dragon ceased the attack and flew away to the north, except the largest one, which uh, the Lord of Three was riding. And he rode over to Eleanor and threatened her and her kingdom, saying that no matter what they do, they won't be able to defeat him in the end. And he flew away to the north. The party was invited into a, a second council with Eleanor, where it was determined that the great evil that lies in the north is beyond the kingdom's ability to send a force against, as the kingdom no longer has an army. The kingdom is going to work as hard as it can to try to shore up its defenses, but they fear that that effort is going to be in vain, because the dead will always outnumber the living, and it will take them years to achieve only where they were two weeks before. The party has decided that they will take an expedition themselves to the north, hopefully by stealth, and see if they can find out if anything can be done, that they have agreed to search the Great Wastes. Before the party left, they were invited by Quindry into his tower, who talked to them about a different route than any other expedition to the Wastes has ever taken. He talked about the ancient people who left the Great Wastes when the, when the wasted areas was destroyed and where they had left. And it was, it was a place between the forest and the desert, Haven Forest and the desert. He did warn you that Haven Forest has an ill name as a home of fell peoples. But it was said that they built a monument there in their exodus out of the desert a thousand years ago. And that is where we are now. Hey, Dwight, do you have a map? Yes. Is there any enchanters in town? No. What? Where did it go? I know I had a map that I had shared with you guys. How do you drag things like the dice tower? I can't move it. Oh, right click the dice tower and unlock its position. Not locked. Oh, I see. Never mind. Thank you. Okay, Dart, I've selected my two new spells. Do you want to know what they are so you can just read up on them before Please. we play? Okay, uh, so uh, level two spell, uh, uh, Flaming Sphere. Okay. And then a level three spell, uh, you'll know this one, uh, Sleet Storm. Good. Yeah. Found the map. So that difficult decision I had to make during choosing spells wasn't so difficult anymore. <laughs> nope. Uh. Everybody see the map? That, yep. that yeah. is the map on Quindry's wall. And there is an X where he believes the monument is. Every other expedition had entered the Great Wastes, starting from Weston, going along a dry riverbed into the Great Wastes. All the expeditions that took that path failed. No one ever returned. Does anyone see the X? Because I can't see the X. If you see that... I can scribble a little more if that'll help. Yeah. It's a circle. It's east of Haven Forest. Kind of at the edge of the forest. Is it like here, me, oh there, okay, now I see all the scribbles. Okay, let, let me there, let me take away the scribbles. And here's the X. Here's where he thinks it is. 
and proud you're right about it should be another color but you don't they don't give me another color. <laughs> so that's where they think it is that's where so do, thinks it is. As, as a party do we reckon we're gonna have to go through haven forest um yeah because the dry riverbed was referenced a couple times as being very dangerous we basically yeah. last session lord riz we talked about how the the last groups that went in the great waste they went each group went the same way and they've never returned so basically we're going to go a different way including okay. a legendary king's guard that was the greatest king's guard who ever lived according to everybody that you talked to that happens to have the same name that that the king of the orcs called the Lord of Three. And the Lord of Three got very pissed when he called him that. It's that Logan oh. guy. That happened a hundred years ago. An expedition where several hundred soldiers went with the greatest king's knight who ever lived, an expedition into the Great Wastes, and none of them ever returned. They also followed that dry riverbed. What you're about to attempt, hundreds of soldiers have failed. Yeah. Well, I just I need to let the party know I've got some some level three spells uh, for the first time. Uh, most of them require a casting space between my friends of at least one block. Otherwise, it will kill you. So if the tanks are at the front, if you're able to just leave one block between you. Or go first before they move. Yeah. <laughs> Chances are, because I roll so terribly, you will go first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you got your arrows replenished. I'm going to give Lord Riz his uh, inspiration back. Uh, can I ask uh, the mage of the, the city, if he's by any chance got any better robes, as these have been a bit worn. No, no, he really doesn't have that. Oh. They wouldn't be magical in any case. So, hey, is, awesome. is there any gear worth looking at buying from a merchant? Or is that just going to waste our time? Compared to what you guys already have, probably not. Nothing magical. Do I, I was taking a look at the aid spell, the one I got for level two. Yes. So it says the duration is eight hours. Will I have to do concentration checks? Or uh, it's just... Let's take a look. Let's take a look at that. Because my other one says concentration uh, up to Abilities. one minute. This one just aid. says eight hours. This lasts for eight hours. Like, no... No it doesn't say anything. It doesn't say anything about concentration. All right. This, that's a really good spell. It is. I, I also asked if we could get a barrel of oil. I don't see it in our inventory. A barrel of oil? So you, we can can get a, you could get a cask of oil. Okay. A cask would be the equivalent of about 30 flasks. Okay. Yeah, you can get a uh, cask of oil. I'm gonna mark you off a gold piece for that. Oh, whoa! Well, you told me you were getting it free last session. <laughs> oh, but, but you're buying it. I'm not. No, I asked the the mage dude. I forget why. What? Why do we need it? He doesn't, he doesn't have that much oil. One gold piece is nothing. I'm just saying. Dwight said. I asked. I I asked the. I asked somebody for it. For things that they have, they they don't really have like. Cast of oil lag around, but there is a merchant who's selling it. Why did I even? Dingy. Why do we need it? Oh, to burn the troll, right? That's what it was. Guys, what did what what did we do with the two ones we had? Do what? The ones that we had. Oh, uh. oh, I have them. Uh, had had we found out what both of them did? I uh, I haven't played, so I was just wondering. Um, when they come in contact with one another, the they start to dim, like the greenness dims. So we think they get weaker when they get together, and that's how they'll be destroyed when we get the third one. Uh, okay. That's what they think. That's what we think. Uh, okay. They haven't I been told also... that. <laughs> well, we told that we were told that they glow, glow dimmer. They glow more dimmer. Uh, all right. Yeah, we were told that. that. We came. That might be bad. You don't know. <laughs> but yeah. 
this is nothing new, but I was looking back through my uh, background and the whole poem that says, I had this poem that basically was both me and crowd got it. That was like this uh, trance. And we had this message and it basically told us to go to Aster. And it literally said in Castor, the least, the least of three of old renown, which is obviously talking about the wands. So I kind of found that interesting. Just gonna point you, out. Uh, you, have, you have also, when you usually when you pray with crowd, you also get the messages that she gets. I've not been praying with crowd. Maybe well, say. I'll give it to you now. I, I do I tell, I must, have we had a long rest that I can do my role? I don't know since me, the let last. Me, uh, let me make sure we have the long rest. Yes, you can do your role. Okay. I'm going to make sure everybody's got a long rest. Ooh, excellent rolls. Yeah, really nice rolls. Six and seven. That's that's good. Two and three would be better. <laughs> can I get a flask of poison, Dwight? Can I buy that? Poison? No. However, there is an apothecary that sells healing spells that has a lot of interesting herbs. And they do have herbs there that you know how to put together to create poison. Hmm. I want to go shopping then. Don't you have don't you have that ability? Or am I thinking of somebody else? I had to look. Chris, I'll have your roles been in the past two games. Interesting. I'm okay. sorry. Roland, I'm thinking of somebody else. I'm not thinking of your character. Uh, whoa, whoa, what, what were you saying? The, the answer is actually no. You would not be able to find poison in New Asher. Okay. At least not from uh, well, no, at least not from reputable sources. Well, can we, can I go to the black market? Well, uh, the 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 bar I assume is where this would be found. Tavern. <laughs> there is a seedy side of town. There is a pretty nasty. Uh, looking tavern there with a lot of shady characters. Let's go. Oh, please, can we go there? Let's go there. All of you? <laughs> uh, mm, you never split up. Yeah, that we don't that. split up the party. <laughs> we don't split up the party. They all they all scatter at the sight of Philip and Cloud. Two nights, two nights walk into a CD bar. And there's like nobody there. <laughs> With the bartender. It just ruined it for me. They saw Pandora and we're gone. Yeah, I, maybe they didn't notice Pandora. <laughs> well, Pandora might have actually helped you, but Cloud <laughs> and Philip, oh my god. All right. I'm going to tell you the truth, Roland, as an elf, you would have had some difficulty with that anyway. Uh, I should have sent this Lord Risen to buy it for me. <laughs> well, <laughs> to and tell we don't the have truth, a that's true. God, out of interest, would I be light enough to ride Pandora as a wizard? Yes. Yes, you could. And don't brag oh about it, because I'm still mad. So could we. Oh. Actually, Pandora's, def <laughs> Pandora's definitely my direwolf, because she was rolling terribly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm I'm sure it can't be yours if it won't let you ride it. I'm just no. saying. Oh, no. Are, are you aware of the saddle and the helmet the party also has? No, no. Well, yeah, Where's he was there because it was the, in the look castle. Look in the party inventory. Open the party sheet. Oh my goodness. Guys, dibs. The first <laughs> thing on the list. I know. I saw it. Please. Oh my goodness. They that, found it, it in an ancient that, chest. Hey, what was the other thing? The helmet. Dragon Rider helmet. Ah. Uh, Lord uh, Riz, you have your bird. You identified it. Proud has her pigeon. And me and Roland <laughs> have our dire wolf. I love it how he says me and Roland. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, Lord Riz. Would you, yeah. would you mind uh, in a couple of hours here going back into Shady Bar and buying me some poison by yourself? Yeah, sure, no problem. All right, Riz, I want you to roll persuasion. 
into the power, again. please. That's in my skills, hey. Mm -hmm. Persuasion. Into the dice tower. Into the dice tower. Not bad. At a cost of two gold pieces to the party, I'll take it out of the party inventory, Lord Riz comes back with three vials of a fairly deadly poison. Hell yeah. Good job, Lord Riz. I immediately hand them over to Roland as I do not ha enjoy holding on to poison. <laughs> <laughs> so, there were three vials of poison. Let's put those in Roland's inventory. Perfect. So will this antidote we have work for that kind of poison as well, or is it different? Oh, no. The antidote you had was very specific. Okay. Um, there, you have, you have three vials of poison in your inventory. Thank you. Is that... What? Now, that, that poison, they basically have to roll a saving throw or they take an extra two six-sided die of damage. Understand that poison like that isn't going to work on certain kinds of creatures. Uh, yeah, undead. Which is probably what we're going to run into. It's probably going to be pointless, but... Well, you never know. Um, is that... Am, 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 can I assume that I can only dip one arrow per vial? Correct. Okay. I can't, I, can't, I can't just let you do endless, you know, you'd have to pour it over there. You can't dip an arrow in there. You'd have to pour the vial out onto it. All right. I said I'll stay our cast of oil. That was, should be free, but it's okay. It should. <laughs> oh, my uh, goodness. Great. Do I, out, of, <laughs> out of interest, is there a place I can, I can read up on, like, my horse's abilities? Because I have no. that horse. Okay. Thank you, Dwight. I can't remember what they were. Your, your horse, if I recall, was a little bit faster than normal. And it has no fear. Your horse doesn't seem to have any fear at all. Yeah, I remember it being very intelligent other, as well. The other thing is, is that horse seems to almost know what you're thinking. You hardly have to use the reins. You basically think a little bit to the right, and the horse moves to the right. You think a little bit to the left, and you can get that horse to stand still while you go off and do stuff. It's very intuitive and very into whatever you want to say. Uh, Roland's, Roland's horse is very different. Roland's horse is also faster than the other horses, but Roland's horse is, is incredibly steady. And firing from horseback at speed from that horse, he does not get the normal plus negative two to his attack rolls. He can fire from the horse because of the, has the steadiness of that horse. Okay. And are there any benefits to riding a dire wolf? <laughs> no. <I'm not laughs> a dire wolf, but you'd have to talk to Roland about that. <laughs> well, come on, Philip. You're supposed to say, and me. I know. We were even... We've been pushing so hard to try and annoy you, and it just didn't work. <laughs> only, only because it's fun. All right. <laughs> Anything else you guys want to do in New Astra? Or are you ready to depart? Uh, it is, I've all it is I'm my assuming. Life. Do we want to sleep, or do we? I feel like it might not be smart if we sleep, because then we just waste more time. Yeah, I think we should get going. You guys the fact that I could roll means you have had a long rest. All right, you guys leave town. So we're going to take that same route we took through the mountains. Yes. Okay. Thing, things are pretty quiet. Not a lot going on after all that happened before. It gets on into the middle of the night as you get into the mountains and start making your way up the trail. In the middle of the night, Tim meets you at the tower, up at the tower, and welcomes you. He recognizes you guys immediately. He offers you in for a, you know, spot of tea, or he can even tell you can spend the rest of the night here if you like. It's about two in the morning. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, I think okay, That's we can cool. spin the rest of the night. Uh, yeah. At least right. that way we're not going into the forest at night. Yeah. Staying with these guys, you're really not going to have much of a problem. And so it gets to be almost midday by the time you guys rouse up and the two soldiers left in that tower uh, make you a little nice little meal before you go. Oh, lovely. Uh, do I roll again now, Dot? Or yes, do I have can. a choice? It's up to you. You can keep the rolls you have or you can do two new rolls. Okay, I'll put it up to the group. Are, are you guys happy with my six and seven or I can roll again and maybe get ones that can help you guys? Six and seven is better than you getting like a 13 and it's just awkward. Yeah, I guess. I'm fine with I love how you pick the number with that is six and seven put together. <laughs> <laughs> but like a dice, that's 13. All right, Dot. I'll 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 keep the ones I have. All right. I've got to suck up to Philip so I can ride the direwolf. The party heads back out, <laughs> and about rolling. seven, seven miles sure down you. the road, you find the dirt path that goes to the east. So it's sort of a dirt road that heads to the east, and it looks like it goes through the hills, and then we'll swing up north. Up into the the forest that we want to go into. Well, it's not this forest here, but it goes in that direction. This, okay. This is the path they told you to Oh, okay, okay, I got gotcha. you. You guys had a late start. It is getting toward, toward uh, oh, it's, it's midday now. And you guys are now heading north. Okay, I'm going to switch maps on you. Or was I in the wrong place? Just a moment. All right, here you are. Sorry, take me a minute to get calibrated here. No problem. Tokens. I'll show the map first. So I'm just going to get letter tokens. Where'd they go? There, finally. Taking, taking me forever to find stuff. So there's the party. Can you all see it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you guys are heading on up this way now. And it's getting into the afternoon. After a while, you feel the salt air. You're obviously near the sea. The road travels about a mile from the coast. Ahead and to the left, you can you see a tower in the distance. It reminds you of the kind of tower you saw on your way to Castor, but there's no fire burning at the top of this one. Uh, what do we want to do? Yeah, you know, we're gonna go right by it. So, as you get closer, the tower appears blackened. The doors are broken. The upper parts of the tower seem covered in soot. Um, Dwight, can I fly my hawk over just to yes, check you can. that there's, there's no potential threat, uh, threat? The hawk flies over it. The floors are all burned away. From the top of the tower, he can see all the way to the ground. There is nothing in the tower. It's all burned out and blackened. I wonder what took that. Uh, this is, I think, this is the way that army came, I think. Yeah. I mean, we, we, we want to go in and investigate it, or just let it be? Um, I'm not too sure. 
Yeah, I'm not too sure. I, I, I feel like it could, it could be something important that we could just be missing it. I mean, the other tower had a bunch of secret rooms and stuff, maybe. Yeah, but this looks... This, is a, this looks like a simpler tower, like the tower you saw on your way to Castor. I say, I say let's, go, let's go take a look, because it might, you know, there might be a small battle or something, but not, we don't need to waste too much time here. But we... Roll investigate, whoever is going in, roll investigation. So is that, is everyone agreeing? Do we want to all go in and roll investigation then? Yeah, <laughs> mine's going to be pretty useful. Useless. Mine, mine's gonna be quite good. <laughs> Do I, mine's gonna be quite good, I think. I think I'm gonna get a negative one here. Roll them in the tower. <laughs> Are we all going in? Yeah. Who is rolling oh. for Pandora? Oh, that was me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey, she, she. I think that's the right choice. Hey, she can investigate, right? Yeah. You can Pandora, sit. We'll sit here. Pandora alerts on something on the ground outside the tower, but she doesn't talk. Anybody else? I don't see uh, Roland rolling. That's because I was rolling Pandora on accident. Hold on one second. Here we go. Roland sees it. Roland, where Pandora was alerting. There are definitely footprints. They look like orc footprints. Damn orcs. There's nothing in the tower. You don't see anything at all. How close are we to nighttime? It's late afternoon. I say we just roll on then. I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah. As you get on towards twilight, you start to see the edges of the forest. And from the from the Asher Crude map, you can tell that this is the edge of Haven Forest. All right, we don't want to go through the night, I assume. So we'll camp right here before we go in. Yeah, I think yeah. maybe they'd set up a camp here and then run our normal watch cycle. Philip, what during <laughs> during? During your watch, you notice a light in the trees in the That's forest. That's never good. There's a uh, light in there. Something's burning. Deforestations of big issue. Oh, it doesn't look like a forest <laughs> fire. It looks more like. How am I red? Are we there? It looks like a. It, it looks like a campfire. Like, listen, as soon as you just got attacked by dragons, you can't be like, ah, oh, deforestation is rough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I'm going to wake the rest of our party up. I have dark vision for 60 feet. Yeah, both you and Roland do. I do. Okay. Not. That's why I'm going to be meh. So I'm going to wake everyone up and I'm going to, like, tell them to go help me go investigate. The campfire. You gonna guys go to go up and take a look? Yep. Let's do it. Yep. Please make sure Pandora's away. Of course. He's already on the trail of the orcs. Do I, out of interest, like oh, it's a cool in a, in, camp. A com, in a comparison level, how big is Pandora compared to like a horse? Smaller than a horse. Okay. Uh, but she's much stronger, and she's just amazing. She's just wonderful. <laughs> now, I assume you guys did not ride your horses here. You probably left your horses back in your own camp. Right. Now, mm -hmm. hang on. There's a lot going on here. I hate when he says there's a lot going on, because it's like... Holy just goes for initiative. Is this the, Holy is this the battle shit. that you revamped? Look oh, at that God. guy! Is that a troll? You see six orcs around a campfire talking to a huge and heavy ogre. Oh, in one hand, right. the, in one hand, the ogre has a great club. In the other end is a long post. Tied to the post is a strange looking man, small and dressed oddly, leather strap sandals and tattered clothes. 
If you saw him on the streets of New Astor, you might have thought him a beggar at first glance. He has cloth that covers the lower part of his face, and his eyes peer out from under his hood. There are three dead horses lying in a pile nearby. Ooh, can we hear what they're saying? Can we listen in? Yes. Stand by. Oops, oops, that was a mistake. Just a minute. Something didn't copy properly. Right out of interest, the weather be what? What's the weather in the in the forest this night at night right now? Pretty clear. Yeah. I'm reposting. Forget that. Something didn't copy properly. Just a minute. Okay, here we go. Oh, that still didn't come out right. It, oh. Okay, hold us. That was supposed to be different than it came out. But anyway, the ogre is practically shouting. Uh, there we go. Now it's working properly. Uh, there we go. Speaking in ogres. Not yeah, we can read it. Uh, do you want me to do you want me to translate for you guys? Do you want me to translate for the group? Yes. Yeah, you can go. Okay. Uh, you told us to you told us to bring you strange humans, and you will pay big. I bring you strange human, and now you say you not pay big. Maybe or what? Ogres should try orc for dinner. Sounds interesting. Uh, we told you, Outlander human and elves, that is no Outlander and no elf. That is a wanderer of the wastes. You know them as well as we do. You think to trick us. You drag that all the way here and you think we don't know better. You will pay or die. You can have one of the three horses we took from you, so you don't go back empty-handed. We will pay for outlanders if you find them. Find the right ones, and we will pay big. Uh, the or the or spirits picks up one of the dead horses laying on the ground and tosses it behind him. I not leave till I eat. If you don't want this human, there's enough for us. The orc nods, yes. We have no use for him. Might as well fill our bellies. He will feed us better than a horse anymore. Anyway, the orc nods, yes, we own. Oh. You can see the man struggling to try to feel free himself, but to no avail. So what do we want to do? So a, rec a quick recap is the ogre was supposed to bring strange humans to the orcs. And especially and elf elf and humans elf. that included an elf. And looking for us. They're looking oh, for us. I, I feel like it's I feel like it's time for a fight. Or they're already looking for the us. Other elf that we've been been get, talking about a lot. Works are moving. We better move <laughs> into a place where we hit them. Start, the ogre's starting to drag that human toward the fire. Oh wait, I. Uh, How's he attached to the board? He's tied. Uh, he's no. tied to a post. All right, let's. The orc, the orc is dragging that post like it's nothing. All right, I'm gonna sneak up. Uh, can we get a sneak attack if we all move into position? Uh, if anybody moves past Roland, you're gonna be rolling stealth. You can go that far without Roland's being seen. Roland's our best at stealth, so Roland try first. Why don't we get it too close? They'll murder me. Roland, what if you climb the tree next to you? Gotta, if you can move up before having to roll initiative, right. you don't have to. Can I get up in this tree? 
You could. That will take time. That means the ogre would have the guy in the fire. Bucket. Okay. Well, we we just need to get. We just need to go. Initiative. Are we just gonna go? Yeah. Anybody who wants to attack can attack now before we roll initiative. Yep. Uh, uh, so, do you need to lock our? This uh, is your chance, Lord Riz. I uh, know. I'm looking at how far it will go. I have a cantrip that's guidance that can help someone with one ability. Oh, I guess it's an ability. Never mind. All right. Can I? Can I do? Can a spell? I go there safely, Dot? Sure. Can I do a spell? Yeah. Hang on. Let, let Lord okay. Riz do his. Everybody can do one. Okay. All right, Lord Riz. What are you gonna do? You know exactly what I'm gonna do. Yeah, okay. I'm surprised that's where you're moving, but where uh, you're attacking him, that that will hit the human. Will that hit the human? So I have to go over like here. Yeah. That might be a well, that will hit the ogre and one orc. Go a little further, you're under the tree, not in the tree. So if you okay, hit over so if I go here, like here, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> that would do it. So you're firing, at, you're firing at the ogre? Uh, yeah, definitely. Target Kurzig, Zarad, and Bogash. Alright, uh, let me just check. Okay. So how exactly do I, do I'll I show, roll I'll this? show you. I'll show you. Alright, Lord Briz, find you here. Alright, have you, you got, got them? Uh, you've I'm got, just you've picturing what Kurzig. this is going to... You this is gonna look like <laughs> you haven't targeted Zarad or Bogash yet. Oh, so I must just put them both in the all target all three. Now okay. in your actions tab, hit the little spyglass. Yeah. Next to your spell. The first yeah. thing you're gonna do is you're gonna roll save. See that save and I just guys? Click it. Or drag it to the chat window. All right. There's the saves. They all three failed. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> now drag damage to the chat window. Uh, this is going to be so much fun. A bolt of lightning just fl flew out from uh, Lord Riz, wounding Kerrig, killing Bogak, and heavily wounding Zarad. Damn. That's a lot of damage. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, who else is moving? I already moved up. I you can attack still. Yeah, I casted Hunter's Mark on myself real quick. Okay. And then I want to dip my. Well, did you hit that big orc? That's gonna be a that's gonna be a full attack if you did. Okay, never mind then. We'll just fire. So you can fire twice. Who are you firing at? Big troll. Is he not targeted on your screen? Going after the ogre. Oh, I still have me targeted. Hold on. Oh, you haven't targeted. Oh crap! Oh, you have yourself targeted too. Hold on. You take that target off. Yeah. The there we go. Hit. Now I get two attacks. Do I do them both, or do I just do damage now? Nope. You do damage on this one. Okay. Oh crap! I moved my. At least we're not having that problem you had last week. Right. Heavy damage to him. Right. Now attack a second time. Hit yes. again. And he is beefy. Damage to Kuzig. He's tough. All right. Now since we're not in combat, I don't I don't end my turn, right? Uh, no. You, there's no turn to end. Okay. Everybody else gets a turn if they want it. All right. Uh, so can I literally just move up all the way to them? Without you having want to do a double? Shift? You want to do a double move? Sure. All right, so I can just move up to because <laughs> this just doesn't seem very orthodox. Oh well, well, oops, oops, just a minute. Okay, no, that's fine. It's just that I need to lock, lock tokens so in the future there tokens are now locked. So you can move to there. Okay. Wait a minute. Who just moved? Who moved Pandora? Me. Oh, okay, you move Pandora up to there. Pandora likes Philip. That is, within, that is within Pandora's range. Is she attacking? Oh, she can, yeah. So go ahead and have her target, Digu. <laughs> and go ahead and do uh, the fight. She missed, unfortunately, because that would have knocked him down. He would have been prone. Yeah. All right, proud of you doing anything? Can I just a minute? Oh, 
Phil, are you doing something? Can I attack? Not you did a double move, so no. Uh, Pandora can run that far. You can't. Let's see. I was going to just bless everyone. Oh, uh, what's the range on that? 60. Oh, 30. No, sorry, Phil. You're far. <laughs> You're really beefy now. You move up. If you Can she move and bless? I thought I could only do one thing. Sure, sure. She can do her full move. If, she can move her full movement and still bless. If you move one or two above me, you should be able to get all of us. I think that's Phil's. I just want to check range real quick. I think everybody's still within range. That looks like it. Yeah, okay. That's cool. Oh, by blessing. Sorry. Everybody, Lord, Phil, Roland, can I... I think I can only do three I think people. You can only do three. Yeah, three. So you don't even really have to target them. Uh, this is, you, you already did, so that's okay. So go ahead and uh, throw your bless on them. There you go. <laughs> yep, they've got. They all have bless now. You might want to untarget them for the next time you you get into a fight. And sure. it's time to roll initiative. Okay. Okay. Oh my bad color. Bad color. But not the worst. <laughs> <laughs> it ought to terribly. Pandora first. On actual turn. Pandora's yours, Roland. Does, no matter what Philip says. Does Pandora get flanking? <laughs> what? Does Pandora get a flanking bonus? Uh, from there? No. No, I mean if I move her, like to the back. Yes. That will give her a plus two if she's attacking Digu. Okay. Two. Look, I'm targeted. Yes. Boom. That was a hit. Hang on. Before you, before you attack... Okay. Let me go to Pandora. Uh, let me take a look at that. Actions. DC 13 strength on Digu. So let me do that for Digu. What's that mean? Digu's having to roll a saving throw, but he does make it. Pandora tried to knock Digu to the ground. You can go ahead and do your damage now. She tried to knock him to the ground, but he didn't go to the ground. But she did wound him. Hell of a bite. Yeah. Pandora, whenever Pandora attacks, she tries to knock them to the ground, make them prone. All right, roll in your move. All right, time to finish this troll off. Oh, yeah. That was a hit. Roland just took out the troll. Of course, the first. The troll was dead. Um, so the pole falls to the ground. The guy is still struggling, trying to get out of the ropes. So I, I get my second attack, even though I killed my first target, right? Yes, you can. Targeting You're like Legolas, you can just pull arrows out and fire really fast. Yeah, targeting uh, Zarad or whatever his name is. Hit with that low of a roll. Asok struggles but cannot free himself. Gug. Gug targets. The direwolf and flings a flings a spell. A bolt of ice comes from his staff, but misses. 
Hmm. What is Gug? Gug moves back to here. Philip, your move. Gug is a weird orc. Oh, he's a weird orc. Okay. And I scratched Philip my just hit. Philip was raged because they attacked Pandora. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Well, other than Gug, the fact that Gug I rolled rolls a one. whole one. <laughs> good, here's the good news. And now your second attack. Yeah. Oh, you get two attacks too, huh? Uh huh. Nice. Is that new with you? There's uh -huh. the blast. Hit. There. Killed nice. him. It was like a jab and then a decap right there. Philip just took out Kigu. Lord Riz. Uh, I'm gonna be costing. Left. I'm gonna be costing sleep on the remaining three enemies. Actually, no. I, I actually distance? want to change that. I want to change that. The distance is uh, is ninety feet, but I'm not gonna okay. do that. I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go for my old favorite. And I'm gonna see. Who do I feel like targeting? Sorry, guys. Just decided to change. I'm gonna target just Gug. Sounds good. All right. Targeting uh, Gug. Yes. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna cast Firebolt. Firebolt. 120, Excellent. and I will start with my attack and then my damage. That was a hit. Gug is wounded. Perfect. And then I'm going to move over to... How far is my movement? 30. If I remember correctly, I can move 30. Yeah, on your main sheet, you can move 30. All right, brilliant. I'll move to there. And then I end my turn. Nafu runs over to here reaches his hand out and touches Zarad. Healing Zarad. Zarad starts moving in. Attacks Philip with a great sword. No. Misses him. Good. Proud. Uh, I'm going to do spiritual weapon. I'm going to move up a little closer to this guy. On Zarad. There's your spiritual weapon. Place it where you want it. I would like it to be right here. Or where is it? Oh, there it is. Sorry. Little ass. I just threw it on the board. There you go. All right. You can go ahead and do your attack with the spiritual weapon now. Okay. After that, it'll go off at the end of Zarad's turn. Boy, it hit. And yeah, hit him good. Most of the damage that was just healed. Okay, and then I get my shot. Uh, wait a minute. Is casting a spiritual weapon a bonus action? Yeah. Okay. Yep. You, get, you still get an attack. And I'm beside him. Can I do my plus two? Uh, yeah. Or is That's it not the, flanking yes, you know, the spirit, I'm going to call that a flank. So you're flanked with the spiritual weapon, so yes. It's still targeted. But... I'm going to use my Warhammer. So get a put a plus two on it. That's a hit. Ugh. And lousy damage. <laughs> All right. Pandora. Yeah. I can't sneak by without getting a. 
attacked. Can I? Can depends on, depends on who you're going for. Can, can she come like? Can she move twice, like here and then there? Sure. Okay. We need to get this mage to tell people. That's not the. Oh, that's the. Yeah, yeah. So she's targeting Nafu. Hit. Hang on, let me uh, do the roll for Nafu. Nafu has to do a strength save. And fails. Nafu is now prone. <laughs> they give us any bonus of damage or anything? Not to damage this turn, but to anybody else that hits him before he stands up. Nafu is now prone. You can go ahead and damage him now. Heavy damage. Roll him. So, I'm assuming I can hit him pretty easily. Hit who? No, actually, it's a negative two for you to hit him because Pandora knocked him down. Because he's now a more difficult target for you. He's an easy target for a melee attack. Ah. Yep, I would. Oh, what happened there? Why did I roll two dice? Here's what happened. You, it wasn't a negative two. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have given you the negative two. It's disadvantage because he's prone. Oh. However, you dropped the 18, rolled an eight, but still hit. So you can go ahead and roll your damage. You killed him. All right. Yeah. Second attack's going. Second attack's going for the other guy. I'm going to use sharpshooter on this one. So negative okay. five. Okay, negative five. Ooh. Critical him. Go ahead and roll your damage. That just took him out. All right. Two bow shots. Boom, boom, and two are down. Asok is going to roll his strength. He succeeds. All of a sudden, this guy just broke loose of his bonds and is standing up. That's about all he can do for that turn. But he's actually freed himself. Philip. Okay. Uh... Might as well see if I can... That's a critical <laughs> miss, but you do get a second attack. Give me a second. I need to change up my color. <laughs> okay. I love these superstitions. I really do. Yeah, well, it is a thing. It's 100% a thing. <laughs> I had other parties that were absolutely convinced of that as well. See, I Hit. told you it's a thing. It's a thing. Hit. Good damage. Um, that is by far the toughest orc. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to stay here. Lord Riz. I moved to here. I just need to check that. From where I am, if I cast level 2 spell Scorching Ray, I'm not going to hit Philip and Proud. I have to look at the spell. You should look at the spell. Scorching Ray. Just a moment. I'm um, sorry, not Scorching Ray. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, burning Hands, level one spell. Burning Hands. Yeah. That sounds less scary. 15 feet. It would hit the guy that just freed himself. Uh, is that uh, it's too far forward? From where you're standing, it would hit the guy that freed himself. If you were on the other side of Proud, it would hit Philip. Okay, can I move back to where I was then? Because <laughs> uh, then I'll just, I'll just go with uh, Scorching Ray. Because it says you can uh, cast three rays of fire. Uh, so at, if I cast all three at one target, is that possible? one target or several yeah you can it, 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 they will be three separate attacks but yes 
Okay, so I'll cast that. So you're going to cast three Scorching Rays at that guy. So do I cast it like one attack, then go again after I've done you damage for attack, each one? Attack and damage, and attack and damage, yeah, for each one. All right. So gonna be, it's three one. separate attacks. Hit, damage. Dead. Killed him. <laughs> Uh, well, do I have to end my turn, or because we killed them all now? It really doesn't matter. Uh, I'll just end it for fun. Oops. All right. Oh, I accidentally deleted all the tokens, but that's okay. You're here in the camp with this guy. We this, make sure he's this okay. One, this is what he looks like. Pretty badass. He'll tell you, my name is Asok. My father bade me trek to the marker, as boys my age are asked to do, and return with a rubbing of it to prove myself. I was waylaid at the marker before I made my rubbing, and dragged into the forest by that fell beast. I was unconscious most of the time, so I really don't know for how long. I've never been out of the desert before. All this land seems strange to me. Well, can we ask him, uh, tell him we're going to the waste and ask him if he'll join us? Yeah, he would love to join us. But... Does he need any oh. food? I feel like we should help him. He seems yeah. distressed. Yeah, can we ask him how he was captured? Uh, he'll tell you I was tr I was trying to trek to the marker, and as I got close to the marker, I was waylaid by several ogres and, and several of these fell beasts, and one of them tied me to a pole and drugged me off. Where I was is... unconscious by the time they drugged me away. Can I ask him where is the marker? Yeah. I could tell you if we were in the desert, but I have no idea where I am. Well, we Are we able to show him our map? Forest. He's never seen a map like that before. Okay. He really doesn't know what to make of it. He says, my father is the leader of our people. He's traveled out of the desert and returned. If you can take me to the marker, I can take you from there to see my father at the oasis where we live. Oh, the marker is on the edge of the desert and the dark forest. But I have no idea where I am now. There's like a whole clan of them. Yes. Okay. He says yes. There are some. He says there are some thirty of us. Do you think he, when he refers to the desert, he's talking of the Great Wastes? We are desert thinking. people. Some thirty of us. We live on the land like other creatures, and although we are few in number, we know the ways of the desert. There, this... all life, all life is sacred and treated with due respect. I feel like there's an X where we're meant to be going. Can we ask if the name Logan or Lord of Three means anything to him? No, the man Lord of Logan does not. Lord of Three sounds like a story that my grandfather tells. Do tell. He'll tell you, my, <laughs> my father, he says, my father is leader of the people. Someday I hope to become worthy, if not another of my tribe brothers. My grandfather was a good man, but not a leader. It is, always the, it is always the good of the people above personal ambition. We choose leaders by quest, not by blood like some of the Greenlanders do, I hear. My grandfather is alive and well at the Oasis. He has become a teller of old tales, a position of great respect with our people. It's the old tales that show us how to live. Asok smiles and says, you have to be careful with my grandfather's tales. Some are difficult to believe. Some are stories meant to tell us how to live. But he tells all tales, stories or not, as if they really happen. He tells of a time in his own grandfather's time when the dead did not watch the desert, when we were a people of hundreds, but not in his time or any time that any of us know about. We believe that to be a tale of hope to give us strength to carry on for such a day to return. So definitely, they're definitely in the Great Waste. 
What does he mean by dead did not watch the desert? Hang on. What do well, you mean? You uh, don't hang on, hang on. Just, just a moment, just a moment. The dead are just that, dead, but still move and able to kill. It is our custom to burn the bodies of the dead and crush the bones into dust so they cannot return to harm the living. The dead can be of any kind, man, beast, and the worst are flying dead that watch from the mountains. There are many of them, hundreds, perhaps thousands. They have no skin, no body, only bones. My grandfather tells stories about them that are not to be believed. We think those stories are just to frighten us from them. But we're frightened enough. We do not go near the mountains. In the desert? Never. Never. Greenlanders don't come into our desert. Not not for not for years and years have Greenlanders come into the desert. My grandfather told of a tale of long ago when Greenlanders came into the desert. They were all killed. Killed by who? Yeah. The orcs and the dead. All right, well, I think we need to ask him if he can take us to the statue. I have no Martin. idea where I am. He doesn't I'm know where he is. is. Oh, okay. I'm hoping you can take me to the statue. Yeah. He says it's at the entrance of the dark if forest. If the statue you're talking about is the marker that I need to find, I need to go to that marker to prove that I have been there. If I come back with my, with a rubbing from that marker, I will have completed the second quest of leadership. Okay. Well, he's more than welcome to travel with us. Yeah, he would like he would like that very much. And hopefully we can get him to where he wants to be. Uh, maybe we should follow his his rule. If we don't want the people we just killed to turn into the dead, we should just he burn the bodies. He doesn't want to leave this camp until he's burned all of these orcs in the fire. And then he takes rocks. And I mean, he, he spends a good part of the night burning all of these orcs. And then with big rocks, he actually crushes their bones to dust. He says, well, this, let's... this is the tradition of our people. He says it's to keep the dead from coming back after us. I like him. Yeah. Should we take this moment to take a long a long rest so like we can all replenish our spells and all That's of that? That's an excellent idea. Look for loot too. Yeah. You don't really find a whole lot. Uh, you do find some gold. I'm going to add it to the party. You do find some gold in the tents. The uh, orcs had uh, like 50 gold on them. Which is a lot for orcs. You'll hear all kinds of things about from Asok. He'll tell you about the flying dead. They're like the bones of a great eagle, yet with the bones of a lion's body. We've seen, we've even hunted eagles, and once I even saw a lion in the desert. But these bones are an abomination, meshing of the two, and grown to huge size. Yet even with nothing but bones, they are able to fly. We do not know how. But they watch from the mountains and kill all living things. We believe the dead want all things to be dead. The live rabbits teach us not to go near the mountains. When a rabbit runs, it first runs away from the mountains. For death can be in any direction, but is certain from the mountains. Sounds like we're heading right for the mountains. We'll tell you there are other kinds of flying dead, larger and even more dangerous, likely no living beast I have ever seen, a thing of bones and wings, a nightmare. Sometimes they come instead of the eagle lions, and there are even worse and larger leathery things, but they're usually flying high off on some unknown quest and think little of life in the desert. They leave the watching of the desert to the flying dead of the mountains. I've seen them from time to time flying to or flying from or to the north and the great ruins there off on some unknown quest. The great ruins? He talks of great ruins? Yes. That's the third that's the third quest of leadership. 
Those would be the ruins of of the old. When, when a boy wants to become a man in consideration for leadership, and the leader deems him worthy, he acts as bait. He walks into the valley below the mountains, only a step at a time, careful so as to alert only one. When a winged dead swoops down to kill him, the tribe attacks. No blades. We use clubs of wood or even stone, for the dead fear the desert and the life within it. We use the desert itself in the form of stone or wood from a living tree to destroy them. The danger is that more than one may come. If more than one comes, the tribe scatters. For the life of the tribe is more important than the life of one boy. That's why no boy is compelled to do this, only if they choose. He mentioned three quests. Did you want to talk to him about them? Well, he mentioned the second quest was the... the he says, I, am, I have already been the bait. The second quest is the journey to the marker, but I have not yet succeeded at that. What is the third quest? Well, there are three quests to qualify for leadership. Few choose this path. The quest to manhood is to lead the, the lead position in destroying of a winged dead. That I have done. The second quest is to the marker, for the journey is filled with peril, but a rubbing of the marker must be made to prove your journey. The third is the hardest, the quest to the ancient ruins and to return with an artifact of worth, proving your journey. All quests can only be undertaken with the permission and knowledge of the leader, for they are perilous and failure reduces the tribe. The third quest is rarely granted, for, the quest has for that quest has taken the most lives. But I wanted the first two quests behind me, so if the day ever comes, I will be ready for the third. Oh, okay. All right. I think I think we should help him get all the way back to his village. <laughs> all right. You guys are gonna pass the night here. Yep. Yeah. In your camp. I'll be right back. Excellent. It's to be dawn, and there are no further encounters. I'm going to go back to the main map here and put the party in the position you're in now. Somehow I only used one arrow, Dwight. Is something messed up? Possibly. Mark off the arrows you've used. Well, I wanted to ask you if I could try to pick them up, but... Um, oh, let's see. Two, three. I'm gonna say I fired at least. You think at least six? Yeah, but roll the six-sided die first because you might not have to mark any off. Oh, tower. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> that was Pandora. Yeah. Let's oh, damn it. Because that roll was really bad. That <laughs> same thing. <laughs> <laughs> you only find two of them. Yeah, you lose at least six arrows. Any other questions for ASOC? I don't have any. He said, well, he'll, he'll volunteer some stuff. My grandfather says that the dead have no mind. They just do what they do and do not alter their path except in mass. He tells of a time when the flying dead used to just stand in the desert, stone still, and only attack if attacked. The tribe would walk up to them without fear and prepare and attack all at once, destroying them. Then one day, the path of the dead changed in mass. They all moved to high places, and now they watch. They attack anything living that moves. My grandfather says it is fear of us that they move, but that's just an old man's story to give us courage, I think. Does he know about what time they did they began their move? Was it around the time that, that he heard of the human uh, He said well, in the... my in my in my grandfather's time, he goes, I don't know. They've always acted the way they act now in my lifetime. So it's it's uh, as a group we could make the assumption that that it it was when the that great king's guard went in with all the people. It says, my grandfather tells all kinds of stories. He even tells stories of ancient times. Mm -hmm. Aesop laughs. Those are the stories we love the most. 
fanciful and beautiful of a time when the desert was a land of plenty, of rivers and beauty beyond measure. And often these tales have some moral ending, stories not to be believed, but to be loved and to learn from. If you meet my grandfather, he will tell you better than I could. Ask him of the king that pretended to be a beggar. That's a good tale. Or the tale of marvelous Wondora and her terrible sacrifice. Or the story of the three lords' advice. He has many stories of long time ago. They're all moral tales, imagined stories to teach young right from wrong. But there's... Can we, can we tell him the description of the elven redhead? If he's knows of anyone like that or, or story of anyone like that he kind of smiled and said you've already heard the story of one door one door is that what you called her one dora one dora ah no no we don't please tell us you you shouldn't hear it from me i'm no toy storyteller you should ask my grandfather Okay, so we know where we're going now. That's where we're going to get there, and his grandfather's going to be dead, and then we're not, not going to have any answers. <laughs> <laughs> when have I ever done that to you? Like when you went to a <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Okay, any other visions we've had that we want to try to talk to him about? Okay. Yeah, I think well, in all honesty... Anything else you want to talk to him about, you, there, there's all kinds of things he could talk about. Um... I can't think of anything else. I mean, he's never been outside the desert. He's like, he's never seen trees like this. He's never seen grass on the ground. What? Well, why did they not leave the desert? What? Why did they not? I didn't leave the desert. I tried to go to the marker. No. Why do they not leave the desert? Why did they stay there? Because that's our home. That's where we live and how we live. We've always lived this way. We don't want to be, you know. The, we don't want to be the green people. He says, excuse me if I'm offending you, for you are green people. People of the Greenlands. Can, can we ask him the runes that he speaks of that, that he went near to, to, to finish his first challenge? He says, uh, I've, never been to, I've never been to the ancient runes to the north. My father has. Uh, I right, found so, out that, uh, that was his quest of leadership. He came back with a great, with a with a beautiful red gem. Hmm. Okay. All right. Sold, I think I... we sold that to the Greenlands people, or he sold that to the Greenlands people. He says we. He occasionally makes a trek to the Greenlands people. What? Which? Where does he go? What Greenlands people? He says they live in some place called Weston. Oh, that's one of the map here. Okay. My father has made that journey. I never have. It's nice to know that Weston likes to tell the new Ashter that they are visiting people from the Great Wastes. You don't know that they haven't. Sure, we didn't ask. Um. Yeah, I think I think we need to hit up this marker, or this marker thing, whatever it is, and then go to. Uh, let's, let's, yeah, let's carry on yeah. traveling towards that marker. All right, stand by. Let's see here. Oh, silly, silly me. So it's daytime. Now, if I can just get the sound right, we'd be all set. All right. So which direction are you guys heading? Are you heading into the forest or toward the hills to the right? Hey, Sopway, what would you recommend? We hug the... Well, he's not. I he doesn't know. We do not know where I am. He says, "If you bring me to the desert, then I might be able to find the way." So, can you just repeat which direction? I was unconscious. I have no idea. 
Well, we're, we're right at the south tip of the forest, so we can either go. Yeah, we're moving to that X. I, I think that that's going to be where the X is at that drive through for us. My question is, are you going into the forest or along the edge of the forest? I, I say we keep to the edge of the forest. Is there, is there a path? Again, there are no paths. But the thing is, if we stay on the edge of the forest, we're easier to see. If we go inside the forest, it's easier for us to get, like... Well, you can be back. just a little bit in the trees, you know. Yeah, like, I'd say just a little bit in the trees so that we have... Like this? Like, we're not so easy to see. I'd like to stay in the forest. I'm going for in the forest because it's probably more direct path. And because mm -hmm. it's in the forest. Well, realize you were warned about this forest also. Yeah, with trolls and stuff, but it is a more direct path, right? If we just went through, or is it about the same? Well, look at the Astra Crude map. You want me to put it up again? I'm pulling it up. Around the side will be the quickest route. On the side of the forest, if we can Here's follow the on the side. I'm looks about the yes, same. what I'm saying, Philip, is it almost doesn't matter. Yeah, it looks the same to me. I think, I don't know, I like staying I'm in the forest. We can stay on the edge, like kind of where we're at. So we're kind of in the trees, but close to the side. Yeah, Asok starts getting nervous when you start getting within sight of the mountains. Oh, because of the... He just watches oh. them warily. He goes, we're not in the desert, so I don't know these mountains. He says, but I always fear the mountains. He can walk on the inside. <laughs> You guys are just so nice. <laughs> I think it is nice. It's like my kids. Like you get the inside of the sidewalk. <laughs> Switching maps. On you. We're switching oh, maps. <laughs> yeah. This down. Let me get you about in the same position. What's the green pin? It's a link for the DM so you can go to a map. You should not see the green pin. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> no, no. It's just Stop one of them. That. Make that link private. Okay, everyone remember where it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh. See, I don't know anything. So you could have been like, oh, they just dropped something. <laughs> Uh, now I know what those are. Did you not know what the links were? Well, it's just that when Did I was I haven't it? I haven't done it for a while, so I didn't realize that the the green means you guys can see it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I see I see lots of pins in the map. Okay, I thought that like I, I would be surprised see. if you didn't use any links because that would be so. Or to switch no, I have those menus. I have lots of I have lots of those pins in the map. I just didn't realize that the green ones are ones you can see, and now I know to collect them. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's hard. I'm running multiple campaigns, and it, it it gets hard after a while. It gets on into the late afternoon, and in the river, in the forest, you start coming close to a river. Is that the blue thing? Yeah. Let's let our let's let Pandora get a drink Rolling. of the river. Maybe give her a bath. Just a moment. Roll a note to something. Roll a notice to something. Stand by. I always I start give... getting nervous when I see dice all of a sudden get rolled because I know that's a do we see it or do we not see it. <laughs> And sometimes I roll the dice just to make you nervous. I know. <laughs> By the way, this is an example of how dense the forest gets. It's pretty thick. It's beautiful. It's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty, pretty. It's, it's pretty slow yeah. going. Yeah. 
I told you you came across a river. Yay. Battles. We, uh, do a perception check. Pandora. Did we no notice anything? <laughs> just, just a moment. Still working around the people here. And we'll have Roland Bather, because I'm guessing Pandora doesn't like baths, so it'll make her like me more. I don't think you really bathe a... Uh, I feel like we need to take a, a dire wolf. Uh... Just saying. Roland, <laughs> you see this across the river. Holy... Okay. Everybody see that? They're yeah. in trees, and they're looking at you. Oh, I don't. Giant, giant Can trolls. Can share whatever you just shared? Because I accidentally closed Roll out the map. The zoom up in the map. Oh, yeah. Well, I closed... Oh, there they. There it is. Thank you. You're welcome. Fortunately, on these maps, I have a little tiny image of your characters in the corner, so I can tell who can see the map and who can't. What I can't tell is if you have the map covered with something else. Mm, I accidentally closed it. All right. Um, what's our buddy's name? Asok. Asok. He's in your party. Okay. You take a look at your uh, combat tracker. He's in the party. All right. We. Get, I mean, we're just attacking, right? There's no reason to yeah, talk well, to trolls. I, I think I think first we should tell uh, uh, just let Asok know that we we're gonna be we're gonna be going to battle, and that is he up to hand for himself. Asok he's... pulls from his belt the strangest looking dagger you've ever seen. We're going to tell him that we're gonna burn these bodies, so that's gonna be you know your thing because you like burning things. <laughs> yeah, we'll 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 let him do that. Then. He pulls out a sharp. <laughs> he pulls out a very sharp dagger that. Almost looks like a tooth. Is it a dragon tooth? Like from one of those undead? That's exactly what it looks like, except it uh, doesn't, it looks nothing but bone, but it looks like a dragon tooth. Yeah. All right. Where are we at on this thing? I feel like mine. Oh, I see this. He shows you the dagger. He goes, This is from my, my first quest of manhood. Well, well, I mean, this is probably not the best time to tell us a story, but let's hear it. <laughs> no, he's just telling you that. Oh. That's, where, that's where it's from. It's like, that's great, man. Come on. Did you see <laughs> so these? I want to say, cool, buddy. I hope it goes trolls. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. He's proud of it. You get the idea that this guy is actually, he's actually fairly young. You don't think he's any more than maybe 15 years old. Love it. so much better. I'm glad that we had him walk on the inside then. I better roll initiative. I just they imagine him like smiling you. really wide. They just kind of like, oh, look at my knife, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Six. Oh, what? Bad color. We got three, six, four sixes in the group. And then one sixteen from Pandora. At least Pandora did well. Pandora, Pandora rolls great. <laughs> Might be the end of Pandora is what that means. Pandora's first, but you can choose to make her wait if you want, because her alone track attacking two trolls like that. Yeah, wait. <laughs> Definitely. I... Alright. Uh, make a Pandora's turn. It'd make a pretty sick uh head head armor with her her Fur around my neck after. Stop. Oh, oh. Uh. You kill my direwolf, I kill you. <laughs> it's the end of the party. Uh. I have, I have seen parties draw weapons on each other before. That that has happened. I will draw a weapon on him if he kills my direwolf. I just, I can just all I all I'm imagining here is Chris just being like, I unsheathed my sword. <laughs> <laughs> Pandora senses some anguish from Chris and uh, decides to move away. <laughs> no! Uh, is there any kind of movement penalty through the water? No. Okay. The water is like ankle deep. All right. Can we kill a 
fellow party member? <laughs> Is that a thing? Yes, you can. I don't like how you said yes. <laughs> we, we, we might get somewhere in Bilaka Rock. It's, it's, it's time for a human sacrifice. You should see what some of my spells can do. <laughs> yeah, do you see how many dice Lord Riz rolls? <laughs> no, but Lord Riz is my friend. I feel like Lord Riz would actually, he kind of likes both of us, and he'd just kind of stand there watching it and having That's fun. That's not the hard it. part. The hard part is when Roland would have. Pandora attack you and knock you down. That would be the bad part. I was gonna say, yeah, I was gonna, I feel like Pandora, it's like it, Pandora's mine, Chris. It, no, it, she's it, ours. It, it, if you attack me, Pandora's gonna turn on you and never look at you again, except to bite you. That is not true. Oh yeah. <laughs> because in this hypothetical situation, you have gotten Pandora killed, and then I would attack you. All right, is that the end of Pandora's move? Yeah. <laughs> She can only move 50, right? I feel like Dwight needs to get used to the idea that this is what's going to happen every time Pandora needs to move. I know. <laughs> I know. It's going to be an argument. I love it. All right. Then in Pandora's turn, Aesop charges. Bye, knife boy. Troll number eight. Moves to here. Rolling. All right. Oh, the thing keeps disappearing. That's annoying. There we go. All right. Um, I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark on myself. It's already there, but I'm just seeing so you know, I'm going to cast it again. Yeah. And these trolls look pretty unarmed, so I'm going to, or unarmored, so I'm going to use my sharpshooter and take a negative okay. five. A negative five on the roll. And miss. Holy crap, I'm going to do it again, same thing. On my second attack. Oh, I got to hit negative five, sorry. One second. There we go. That hit. Damn. How much extra damage does that do? I, I think I roll uh, t 10, or, or just base 10 of that. Hold on, let me look at it again. I forgot. You're not alone. I forgot to. Yeah, plus 10. You add plus 10 to the attack damage. All right. Done. You. Yeah. All right, Lord Riz. Is that where you're moving? Uh, I just need to ask you from there, would I get... Am I at the right angle to hit both of them? I can't work it out on the map. I'm... I think so. All right, okay. Well, then I'll move there. That's why I thought it would be all right. Yeah, it seems like it's just the right angle. Yep, I okay. think so. And you won't hit Asaka or Pandora. No, I won't. Okay, so I'm casting Lightning Bolt, everyone. This is the one that does some target, damage. You've got them target, target them both. Now, first, roll their saving. You just roll yeah. drag your saving throws to the chat window. One succeeded and one failed. Go ahead and roll your damage. Which one? Okay, so the front one succeeded, the back one yes. failed. All right. Correct. And then I roll my attack or damage. You've also caught the tree in between them on fire. Okay, so I, I I I roll damage now. Yes, just go ahead and roll the damage. Excellent. Now, notice that it did thirty-five damage to one of them and only seventeen damage to the other. Yeah, half. It it did it correctly. Yeah, it did. All right, it Riz. All the right, back yeah, I was really hurt. <laughs> that was massive. Uh, I end my turn there, and I mark off my third, oh, my one spell. Oh, wait, if I if I move here, can I please attack? <laughs> uh, with the size of that thing, yes, I'll allow the attack. All right. Oh, good, good roll. Thirteen damage, excellent damage. 
Hit again. No, a little bit of okay roll. Another eleven damage. Excellent. Okay, it's, it's still a good color. It's still a good color. Trolls are tough. All right, Prob. Can I only move thirty feet? How far can I move? Uh, it's on your main sheet. Let's take a look. Yeah, thirty feet. Mm. Look, you see, if we started fighting between between ourselves, I think I would have I'd have the advantage mainly because I could just choose what you roll when you attack me. <laughs> yeah, I would that's, never fight that's you. True. That's true. <laughs> I'll just be like, you know what? That was a six. <laughs> I know that I know that we're the most we're the the most different personalities in the party, but I think I favor you the most in the party, and I think that's wise because we're so different. Are you hearing yeah. that? I, I, I guess I, I think they're drawing lines on us, proud. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna fight anybody. And and proud's the healer. Proud's not gonna fight anyone. She is Philip, <laughs> Philip, no, you, see, you said this, now you're going to be lying there, dying there. I'm proud just going to be like, you know what? I remember what you said. <laughs> I, can, I can heal myself. I do have, <laughs> I have a cantrip. He's calling you worthless, Proud. No, I'm just saying that she wouldn't attack so, anybody. No Proud, more warding you, bond you. for you. you within attack range of Philip if you were going to attack. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm kidding. No, I'm going to cast my spiritual weapon and put it on the other side of this big guy. Okay. First, I have to drag it out there. You're going to put it up here. Like that? Yeah. Or, yeah, Excellent. wherever it Go ahead is. And roll the attack. Does it get plus two with Phil yes. there, or is Phil not close enough? Okay. Yeah, Phil was close enough. I've, I've already called that, that Phil was close enough. This thing is big. It hit, although it wasn't properly targeted. Is it not? That's oh, weird. it says troll eight. It should have hit. Okay, go ahead and roll your damage. I'll, I'll apply it. <sighs> that oh. killed it. Wow. You just took out a troll. Um, so, 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 so it's dead, dead? I know. Okay, oh. Uh, it's down. Hey, Ascot. Do your thing. Okay, um, Cloud, that, is that your move? That is my move. All right, I'm, I I ended your turn. Here comes troll number six. And attacks Asok. I'm Hold on, it gets protection. a six. It, it gets a six. six. Okay. He misses. Now he's attacking Asok again with a claw. He gets a seven. Just a moment. I have to see if that's a hit. He misses again. And he's dead by the time it's his next move. Pandora's move. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, go Pandora. That will give Pandora plus two. Oh, shoot. I didn't target it. Sorry. Roll again. Or can you calculate? Roll it, roll it again. I'm going to start getting nasty about that, even though I did the same. I rolled worse. <laughs> <laughs> and she doesn't get double attacks. However, you've positioned in such a way that Asok gets a plus two. He also didn't apply plus two the second time. I want to see what this dagger yeah, of his can do. Well, Asok is, yeah, he's using his dagger. His really fancy dagger he liked to show off. He missed, and he didn't. Oh, my goodness. Either. What a letdown. Okay, Rowan. Somebody needs to burn this troll's body. Just gonna point out. Well, he made it disappear off the map, so I wonder if we're good this time. No. No, no? okay. Not. <laughs> All right, uh, we're gonna use sharpshooter again. So negative five. All you really have to do is drag it to that tree up there that's on fire. Ooh, that's a that good point. Was a hit. 
That killed it. Are we... Oh, okay, we can start dragging. Take it, you guys are dragging it to the trees and the bushes that are already on fire from the lightning bolt. Yes. Right. That, right. That, will de that will destroy the trolls. However, Asok doesn't want to leave here for a while. Because he's got to crush the bones. He wants, he wants to wait and crush the bones. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll take a long thing. rest. Let I want to re nice get some new wait. divine numbers, so let's take a long rest. Yeah, guys. You guys Set up a little bit of camp. Mm-hmm. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna search for my arrows back too, Dwight. Fifteen and three. Give me a six out of die. Oh. You get them all back. Sweet. Not all. All the ones you fired this time, not last time. You know what I mean. You know, it didn't. T I don't. I don't think it took any away again for some reason. Oh uh, yeah. So yeah. You're, you're going to have to mark them as you go. Well, okay. I'll do that. So, the program's not doing that properly. Okay, I'll just... Uh, um, yeah. Realize I'll this wanna... program is a tool. It isn't the end. Right, you know? right. And on these horrible rolls, none of you guys have used any of your inspiration on your bad rolls. Realize you have that. I wanted to ask the group if everyone's all right with playing longer today. Like, because I'm pretty sure most people are in lockdown. Not that's fine with me. It's really up to reason. Oh, look, yeah, really up to logic and proud. I don't think Philip would mind. Not super long. We, I mean, we we work and late for us here. Yeah. We gotta get up tomorrow and do everything over. We're obviously. I'm down to do some like an extra one in the week sometime, as long as everyone's free. That's impossible for Riz. Yeah, I'm unable to do that because I have to keep working. As you're getting through the forest, Aesop keeps trying to pull the party further north and into the woods. He does not want to be anywhere near those mountains. All right. He's afraid of them. Are you going with him, or are you coaxing him toward the mountains? Um, I think we should listen to him. I think we should listen to him. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Get further into the wood. The forest is thick and deep, and it's very difficult to rain. I'm just going to be at AFK for one second. Go ahead. I'm setting some stuff up anyway. I'm going to use the bathroom too then. All right. Just a moment. Proud, looking through the trees, you see something. Okay. Whoa, those are the oh. wrong icons. Okay, <laughs> those look horrible! The well, they're in the, well, they're in the bathroom. Let me fix those icons. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Holy moly. Oh, no, just a moment. Those are, those are the wrong. I don't know how those icons got switched around, but they did. Just a moment. I'm going to remove what them. What are those? Oh, okay. They're good. Okay, now let me fix it. But you've, you see four ogres in the trees. I can't see them. You can't yet. Because Whoever can see them, can you point them out to me, please? <laughs> you you were in the bathroom when, uh, we we had. They the look really mean. <laughs> they they're weird. They they I'm imagining proud coming over to me and being like, you see over there by that yonder tree over there. <laughs> okay, there they are. 
Oh, okay. Now, they still look scary. Back, let me let me move them back in the position they were in. Oh, uh, please here. put them in that position, please. <laughs> and you guys. And then just have Lord Riz do. Uh, All right. Yep. Here. I'm just gonna go straight in the middle of them and firebolt them. This is gonna be so much fun. I'm already in the middle. Thank you, Dwight. <laughs> I'm back. All right. Have they seen us yet? No. Proud has seen them. Lord Ridge. Can, can I see them so can I move and do an attack before they... Before they move. Have to no, ask one me. person can. If you want it to be Riz, yeah, you can do that. Can I go, guys? I'm going to use my firebolt. Yeah, yeah, sure. All right, so I'll move to there so that I don't hit you. I'll, I mean lightning bolt, sorry. Are you going to throw it right between them and hit all four? Yep. <laughs> That's what I thought you were going to do. Is this a new spell for you, or have you had this one? Yeah. This um, is a new spell for me. <laughs> this is the excitement. Okay, I get it. All right, let's see the saving. Okay, one, two of them two succeeded. Failed, two succeeded. Here comes the so number 12, so that one, and number 13. It'll put so it out, right? The top two. Yeah, the top two. All right, and then let's do damage. Heavy damage, and heavy damage to two, and two of them wounded. All right. They see you now. It's initiative time. Initiative time. Come on. For once, can I get a good roll? Oh. <laughs> I, oh I think that's the man. worst roll. <laughs> oh, Philip. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, my word. Phillips dice have the coronavirus. <laughs> All right, Roland, it's your move first. From that last battle, you guys are starting to get the idea that ASOC is sort of trying to impress you. Yep. Can I just turn around? And he's being an idiot. <laughs> yeah, please no. sit around and tell him to not be an idiot. He's got a dagger. <laughs> That's a hit. Second attack. Hit again. Good hit. Trolls are nasty. Our rogers are nasty. <laughs> In a different way than trolls are. Number eight moves. Oh, excuse me. How far do they move? This troll moves to here. And throws a javelin at Roland. Hits him. Roland keeps his concentration for his uh, targeting. Ogre number 12. Here. And throws a javelin at Lord Riz. It gets a three. Oh, it gets a three. Just a moment. That By the way, one of your that ogres that on the great. combat tracker doesn't have an initiative. Just a minute. I want, to see if it, I want to see if it hit. Okay, yeah, I'm doing this first. Okay, no, it missed. Okay, <laughs> number, hang on, number. You, Guys, said number nine is, you said number nine is not on the combat tracker? Yeah, uh, number what? nine is not on the combat tracker. Oh, yes, he is. I see the problem. Just a moment. Yeah, he is. He said he's just at the bottom. No, he just doesn't have an initiative. 
Oh, yeah, he's just not a number in the order. Well, we'll give him a... We'll give him a one. I swear if it puts him ahead of me. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Proud. Okay, I'm gonna cast this magic circle, so you're gonna have to help me with... Do I target okay. somebody, or does it just go out there? You tell me where the circle is going to be the first time, and I'll draw it. Where do you want the circle to be? So, did you see the thing with the circle where you can reverse it? You can elect to cause its magic to operate in the reverse direction, preventing a creature of the specified type from leaving the cylinder and protecting targets on the outside. No, I didn't read that. Stand by. Okay. You could reverse the circle. Is that what you want to do? I was thinking about it. I'd be surprised around. because right now you could do a circle that would hit this entire party if you centered it. Centered it oh, I that. thought it was only 40 feet. Oh, it only says 10 foot radius. 20 what? Foot. Oh, 20, yeah, 20 foot radius. Okay. That's that's big. Okay. That's so 40 can... foot diameter. Do you want to do you want the circle centered on yourself? Yeah, because it'll get our party. All right, let me see if I can figure out how to do this. Just a moment. What does this uh, spell do for I... us, Prop? Well, it's this twenty foot tall cylinder of magic energy, and the creatures can't unwillingly enter the cylinder by non-magical means. The creature has disadvantage on attack rolls against targets within the cylinder. Targets within the cylinder can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed. Oh, cool. Just a moment. How long does it last? One hour. No, yeah, yeah, it lasts like a whole time. battle. I I don't see the drawing tools that I usually see, so I'm going to manually draw it. So this is going to be really crude. Come on, Dwight. We expect so there, a per perfect a, circle here. There's a circle, <laughs> there's a circle around the party about like this. You see it? I can't. I can't. Oh, I see it now. Yes. No, I can't. No, I can't. <laughs> All right, that's about that's 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 approximately where the that's the ogres are having a hard time crossing that circle. Okay, are you going to move? No. Does this circle give us like extra there are, there damage? Are glyphs, there are glyphs on the ground. Well, you don't know what the circle does, uh, the proud does. There are glyphs on the ground that sort of dance around in the circle, so you can see where the edge of the circle is. Everyone can see it. You are not moving, Proud? No. All right, raise your move. Proud, does this circle give us, like, any extra... Because it's a, you said it's magic, and I'm a wizard, so I was wondering if it could give me any extra ability. I don't know if it says that. It just gives a creature a disadvantage on attack rolls. Uh, okay. And we can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed. But no, oh, it doesn't okay. give an advantage. Okay. I Actually, see you are targeting three. What are you doing? Uh, I, I'm going to tell you before. I'm just deciding who I wanna, what I'm wanting to do. Uh, I'm actually just going to do this. Okay, uh, Dwight, I'm going to target number orc number 12, and I'm going to cast Scorching Ray all three times on one target. Excellent. All right. So if I look correctly, it doesn't have a saving throw. No, it doesn't. No, so I just it is, attack, it is attack, attack, then damage, attack, attack, then damage, attack, then right. damage. Okay. 
hit. Second attack. Hit. And third attack. Critical. Critical. Excellent. Heavy damage to him. Ah, uh, brilliant. And then I end my turn. Asok. Whoops. Before he tries to run for it. <laughs> and do what? Yeah. Asok runs to here. He pulls out a spear from his back. He targets troll number 12, and he throws his spear. Hits. Doing another three points of damage. Pandora. Roland, what do you want Pandora to do? So with this magic circle, is there not like an effect on the ogres? Because I have like an effect. You can drop, the, okay, in the combat tracker, drop the effect on each one of the four ogres. That, that will make my job easier if you do that. Okay. Did you get ogre number nine at the bottom? There you yes. go. Okay, thanks. Okay. Roland, what do you want Pandora to do? She's, she's a battle. She's a battle wolf. She's not gonna stand back. You're gonna have her move outside the circle and attack. I don't know what the circle does. <laughs> there we go. She's still in it. Barely. She's half in. Yeah. She's half in it. Her, her heart's her, her heart's in it. That's what counts. <laughs> <laughs> not her head. You won't be able to use her head to make your the hat. You know. <laughs> However, he does not have to roll a saving throw because of his sheer size and damages him. He's a beast. Ogre number 13. Targets Philip and throws a javelin. Misses him. Philip. Uh, Dwight, can you just quickly check? Because when I try to move my character, it moves the whole character. Yeah, you need reason. to lock the... The lock, lock the movement. Yeah, I haven't locked it on this map. You have to do it on individual maps. I hate that. Okay, go ahead. Okay, thank you. Um... Lord Riz is moving outside the circle. Why? It's not your turn. No, not on my turn, obviously, Dwight. I'm sorry. I'm uh, sorry. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Order number nine. I thought you it was you were moving, so I thought it was your turn. You no, 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 no. <laughs> you skipped Philip. <laughs> oh, did I skip Philip? Yeah. All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. I, Riz confused me when he started moving. Go ahead, Philip. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Lord You're gonna roll a one anyway. It does you know we Thanks. just skip that faster. Thanks. All right, Philip is moving outside. Whatever Philip does, Philip rolls a fifteen. Okay. So he rolled a fifteen. Well, I did. Sam, <laughs> I... And he just did. You hit on your first attack with uh, Lord Liz's fifteen. Go ahead and roll your damage. Okay. Ten points of damage. You get a second attack. Thank you. Hit. And another eight points of damage. I got a one, though. <laughs> Ten, oh, yeah. Mine. Ogre number nine. Philip, I'm glad you've got lots of health because you're going to get damaged. I'm sorry. Here. I'm more worried about. And attacks Pandora. Yeah. With a great club. That was, okay, he'll hold it. It has to roll it again because Pandora is protected. And I don't know why it didn't have that, but it didn't. It, it hits Pandora. Wounding Pandora. Rolling. All right.
Too close for me. Sorry. Got a weird message on my phone. Okay. <laughs> Do a normal. Critical. Lots of damage. Wow. That did not kill him? Not on Ogre number nine. He was already heavily damaged. Not as damaged as number eight was, but... Oh, maybe I was looking the wrong one. Okay. All right, second attack, normal. Hit. That killed it. All right. One Ogre down. Ogre number eight. With a great club on Pandora. Missed. And I didn't roll a second time because he, he was going to have disadvantage anyway. Uh, Ogre number 12. Steps to here and attacks Philip. How did it, how did that happen? Just a moment. Somehow he has everybody targeted. Here we go attacking Philip with a great club. Not disadvantage on this because Philip is outside the circle. Critical them. What? <laughs> Wounded for twenty three. Dang. <laughs> the one wow. time I get hit. You stepped outside the circle. Proud as ever to say if you'd stayed inside the circle. <laughs> All right, Proud. Step over here on the edge of the circle here. They can't get me to the edge. My spirit. You're gonna heal that. up. Yep. And he'll. He's still got a lot. He does have a lot. He, he had 54 hit points. You attacking the ogre? You are you are within range of number twelve because of his sheer size. I'm yeah. I'm doing the spiritual weapon. I'm going to stick it on the other side of him. Okay. Uh, hold on. I gotta get this. There, and you yep. can roll the attack on the spiritual. Have this you know, target twelve, and have the spiritual weapon do its attack. Do I get plus two? Correct. Ah, uh, yes, you do. Thank you for reminding me. That hit him. He rolled a three and it hit. Now you get your own attack. I didn't get my plus for three. some reason, it didn't, uh, but that would still be a hit. There's no question. The game is acting a little funky. Go ahead and roll your damage. Yeah, apply the damage properly. 13 points of damage. You hit him hard. All right, Riz. I'm trying to decide. Don't move me, please. I'm trying to decide because if Philip had full health, I'd be very happy to go and cast my lightning bolt from the top because I'd hit all three of them. But with Philip... With half damage, I'm a bit worried of doing that. I say do it. You say do it? Yeah. Uh, do you see how many today. dice that was, Philip? <laughs> you're saying I this. You're, ask, you're asking to die. <laughs> but I have a cleric. We've... You, that you've been saying isn't worth anything, right? Okay. No, I have not! <laughs> that was 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Anyway. God, I never right. said she was. God, I think, I think, 
I think it's the first time in this game I'm gonna cast the spell knowing very well there's a possibility one of my team is gonna die. That's true. Target all three ogres and Philip. And oh Phillip. my god. <laughs> Are you sure you want me to do, do this? It. Do all it. Right. You're gonna roll saving throw for saving all of them. Throw. First of all, Philip failed the saving throw. I just wanted to check that. Then, <laughs> here it comes. I got a three. I can't, I can't do this. You're, you're about to you're, roll it. You've done it. Now you're rolling damage. Oh, 16. That's not bad. All right. Plus. Oh P plus 10 because you're wearing gold armor. <laughs> it didn't kill any of the orcs. It didn't Orgen. kill Philip, the most important thing. All right, go ahead and end your turn. Asok moves to here, still within the circle, just barely, and attacks with his dagger. <laughs> I just remembered Oak Hits him. has a move before mine. Kills him. Kills See, that's how he that's how he can impress. Yeah. yeah. And uh, oh, that, that dagger me. did a whole lot more damage than a dagger normally does. Lord Riz, do you have any other dice throws? Uh, I've, I've used both of mine. <laughs> oh no. Pandora hits and kills hers. Ooh, that's a good dog right there. <laughs> Ogre number 13 bolts for the woods. Uh, yeah. uh, Philip gets a free attack. One. Okay. Can I just uh, attack with my longsword? Yes. Okay. You've got the attack as it started to run away. So, yes, you get to attack with your longsword. Critical. Yes. Massive damage. It got to, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. That's how far away it gets. Because it's running, does our order still matter? Yes. Philip, it is now oh. your move. Oh, okay. can I use my paladin lay on hand on myself? Yes, you can. Yes. So, Philip is to. Do I need you to don't even need to roll. Can I just do the... Nope, you can just drag the heal icon onto the combat tracker and drop it on yourself. Nice. Looks and like you've I can, done it. I can move up uh, this far. And can I attack him? Because I have two actions. Is lay on hands. Uh, you can attack one time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You hit with that bad of a roll. But then I got eight. Nice. The ogres are gone. Hey. Nice. Asok starts kindling a fire. Yeah, Asok. Little nice. This is gonna take a while to this is gonna take a while to burn their bodies. You're gonna be here for quite some time. I'll I reckon a long rest. And Chris, please never, ever, ever allow me to do that again. <laughs> that was okay. rough. That, I, do I, I my heart was pounding. Do you know how bad that attack roll, that damage roll was? Like, <laughs> ask Dwight, that was a terrible damage roll, and you but, almost died from it. No, it I had 15 of, left. He was going to die anyway. I had 15 hit <laughs> points left. That's plenty for me. I've I've died before, okay? And I've gotten much closer to that. The way you, you played with your life so just casually there. It was just... Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Nice. Oh, boy, yes. Excellent rolls. As you travel on further... Things start looking a little drier. And there comes a time 
when you reach the edge. I assume you're back on the campaign map now. Yes, I'm sorry. We're back on the campaign map. Just a moment. Dwight, I was so excited. I thought I could use slow when it was running away there. <laughs> As you come to the edge of the forest, this is what it looks like in front of you. Aesok, is this your desert? He's very excited. Yes, we need to go to the north. <laughs> Great. And he's looking very nervously at the south. Yes, we need to go north. I just imagine he's like Does a little- Does he know where like his marker is at now? Which he looks at you with whispers. We are already too close. <laughs> oh, I just imagine guy. he's like a little kid that's like trying to push the adults forward, like try to <laughs> kind of push us into the desert and make us move. As he moved to the north, as you leave this forest, you see a strange sight that is difficult to describe. It's as if a buried hand was reaching out of the desert. And at the center is a tall pillar with arcane symbols at the base. Oh, we've seen this. That was the little icon on the map. Excitedly, Asok pulls out a roll of thin skin and places it on the curved base. And That's with a hunk of charcoal in his hand, he starts rubbing the skin, making an image of the arcane markings onto the skin. This, he exclaims, will prove my journey to my tribe. I thought it was human skin for a second. <laughs> Can we do an investigate to look around this area? Or perception? Something? Investigate or Just a moment. insight. This is what is printed. Lord, can anyone you know, read it? Just... I can read it. Can anyone else read it? I can't. Beyond, <laughs> beyond the marker was nothing but desolation. Do I, I would read it, but I'm terrible at reading. Do you mind reading it for me? Certainly. Everyone? What language is that? Uh, draconic. Okay. Here marks the end of our trek out of sorrow, loss, and death. Here marks the end of us, but also marks the beginning of us anew. Oh. Aesok smiles and says, <laughs> now we enter lands that I know. Now I can return to my home. I beg you to come with me, for I would have you meet my father and grandfather. My people would welcome you. I can show you the way. Sure. Definitely. I want to meet his grandfather. I like I, I've, he, that, his grandfather got can some stories. Our, like, can we adopt him too? I want to yeah, take, I, I wanna, I, we want to take him as part of our party because I know I know for a fact later on we're going to go and go to where he needs to go for his third challenge. So we'll... Here's the thing. Let's, when we get to the, the, the leader, the dad, let's try to persuade him to allow his son to just chill with us. Let's just get that. Yeah, right, we'll, we'll the going we'll, is we'll... terribly, the going <laughs> is terribly slow. You dare not ride your horses for the heat would kill them. Even Pandora is struggling. The desert is strange and beautiful, but somehow feels unnatural. There are pits of various odd colors and black chasms open to unknown depths. Of the party, only Aesok seems in good spirits as he aids you in making your way. After a few miles, you start to worry about the water supplies. Your horses need a lot, and there has been none to be had. Dwight. Yes. Okay. I want to ask if I cast sleep spell, sorry, sleep storm, well, like I take the time and we stop, would that help our entire team? Because it would cool down all the animals and it would no. actually create some, wouldn't it? It's a magical effect. Not really. No. Uh, all right. We asked Asok if he has any water or knows where any is. He says, I'm taking you to where I believe some is. He believes some is. The guy are you? Sometimes along the way, <laughs> strange 
sometimes along the way you see strange and frightening sights. Aesop walks past them as if they are nothing unusual at all, but is that... wary of the heights. Every time there is a ridge or a spire, he strides, he studies it carefully before leading the party onwards. Can I fly my hawk and see what what it can see in the distance? Any like where we and what yes. are, where where are we going? Yes, you fly your hawk out. And there is a crater ahead of you filled with water. I was really hoping you were going to... Oh, sorry. Asok tells you there is an untested spring not too far ahead. Do not drink. Not until I check it. But if the gods are with us, we may be able to refill there and relieve your animals' misery. Beyond that, we should travel at night, as that will be easier for them and you. You do not seem born to the desert as I am, and I will, tr I will try to make it easier for you. You guys get to the crater. After a few more miles, the crater is filled with water. On the far side of the crater, the water source is obvious. A geyser occasionally spews water from a spout of rock in the desert. Asok stops the party. He takes out a bit of cloth and cups it in his hand. He scoops up some of the water and squeezes it through the cloth. He then inspects the cloth carefully, running his fingers across the surface and finally touching a tongue to the cloth. Asok declares the water fit to drink for man and beast. The water is warm and a tad bitter, but it is drinkable. I'm not going to lie, Dwight. I was hoping when Lord Riss and his hawk up, you're going to have a dragon eat it, but I think it was a missed opportunity. Depends on how often he does that and when. <laughs> So, Aesok is begging you to wait until nightfall to travel further. He says, because it will be easier for you. He says, you, you guys are a little noisy in the desert, and I, I worry about how well we can be seen. He taps your armor. He goes, well, this is noisy stuff. Yes. From here, we must make a decision. To the north is the longer way, but to the south brings us close to the mountains. I came here by the northern way, but the choice is yours. We must avoid the plateau, as it is known winged undead are there. But it is known that they are also in the mountains. I passed easily enough, but I was one, and familiar with the ways of the desert. We are now five, six, actually, and, and large animals. I doubt we will avoid their gaze. North. That's what my So, we have one vote for safe. <laughs> what? Well, uh, genuinely, I don't feel like it, getting attacked it, by a bunch of dragons. It's just, it's, it's just because of your roles. Thanks. All right, I, I actually think north, north is a good idea, though, because we're going to draw a lot of attention. Yeah, and I think uh, the winged daddy talks about that are in the in the mountains. I think they those other things we fought because he refers to them as like a lion and an eagle crossed what were those we fought them in a cave i can't remember what they were called bolts yeah uh yeah the kobolds i don't think that's what this guy was talking about though but maybe uh, this guy is talking about like dragons but they've been undead so long probably or they've just they just don't have skin. Just bones. Uh, sometimes you pass by what looks to be parts of ancient ruins, of ancient buildings, and so forth. Asok acts as like they're as natural as the rock or anything else, that these things are scattered all over and really don't mean much to him. Does he know any stories of them? No, he says, my grandfather tells stories of them. Yeah. Does he say they're an ancient city of any kind? Oh, he said they're from the land when when all of the desert was once a beautiful place with gardens and and trees and grasses and you know it was the greenlands is is what he says. He goes. He looks. He goes. I don't really believe him. Sounds he says, like he a tells, grandfather he tells story. He tells lots of stories. I feel like this he grandfather. Says, 
he looks he looks at him he says but we do love to hear the stories because they're they're wonderful to hear oh well grandfather stories are always the best <laughs> So do we need to camp with it now being twilight? No, he said the best time was to move at night, I think. Oh, okay, gotcha. Something's happening. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's always good. This is the safe way. I'm just, I'm just, just going to point it out. This, this is the safer. Is it, he's taking, you guys chose the way that he came, actually. This is the way that he came. It's just that Are you he telling was me that it would have been safer if we went south? I'm <laughs> telling you it would have been safer if I was traveling alone. But, okay. it, but we're not, and I want to take you to see my father. All right. I may as well just go and come back right now. Well, where is that? <sighs> I'm going to do a perception check, see if I can notice anything. Ah, crap, sorry. Oh, don't I worry. Those were just you see them. <laughs> you see them. They're high up and they're moving fast. Uh, and they're big. Are those full right grown dragons? From far away. They're coming right at dragon. you. Oops. From zoomed I out, I thought the dragons were just scribbles on a white background. <laughs> Didn't work right. There we go. It just says flying dead, so I'm I'm really hoping that it is. if it's a full size dragon, how how do we tame that thing so we can put our saddle on it? <laughs> <laughs> Taming something that's undead. It's a novel concept. Will we in this campaign come across a dragon that's not undead? Yeah, because what's the point of giving us a saddle to ride on? Are you asking you... Lord Wiz that question? Go ahead. The answer you... I'm not there. I'm not there. <laughs> I'm not in the park. Because it kind of feels useless that we're just carrying around this really big <laughs> Yeah. Pack. I'm just saying. Philip, you already don't have a dire wolf. Right. That is my <laughs> dire wolf. I don't care. It's mine. You guys, it's these ours. things these things see you and they're coming right at you. And we're rolling, just stuck here arguing you. about whose dire wolf it is. I'm gonna leave Pandora. Uh, do oh. I, flying, uh, flying dead number two, do I have enough time to cast two spells while they fly at me? Can nope. we initiate uh, Not yet. Well, it depends on whose turn it is. They see you, and if they're moving first, then they are moving first. Seriously? Uh, yes. <laughs> no, my roll. <laughs> All right, flying dead number seven. Oh, there we go. Um, Has everybody got an issue? Yeah, okay. Flying dead number seven is moving first. Just a moment. And they move fast. That one gets to here. It's ASOC's move. Now, it is still high in the air. Asok moves down down here by this dune for cover. Pandora's move. It's too high to attack, Roland. It's still in the air flying down. Oh, she's not going to chicken out on us this time? Oh, she won't attack. Let me put it that way. She wouldn't attack in any case. Maybe put it in some cover. Do you want to move her? Yeah. Try to get out of the dragon, dragon breath attack, or whatever's coming. You moved it down, right? Oh, I was just moving the other dragon. Or, or not a dragon. Moving the other flying beast. It isn't the dragon, actually. All right, Roland, it's now your move. Now, can I hit? What? Can I shoot these dragons, or are they too high? They're in the air. You can shoot. Okay. Yeah, they're in the air. They're, you, Proud and Philip are not on your way, because these things are still 50, 50 feet high. They're swooping down at you, though. 
I'm preparing my gravestone. All right, dragons, let's roll. Do uh, start Peter. Okay. Five. Boom. Hit. Well, I have to add ten to that, right? Right. Got it. Doing it again, sharpshooter. Five. Oh, that didn't work. Missed. All right, Riz. You moving back to there? Yeah. I move back. I peer over the dune. I lift my hand and I cast slow onto flying dead number two. I've read it as far as I see it, doesn't it? I have to do a saving throw. Just a moment. Hold it. Yeah, wisdom saving throw. But how many can I how many can I cast it on? Just one. You can only cast it on one because of their distance apart. Okay, so that would be the saving throw. It succeeded its saving throw. Uh, so nothing happens then? Nothing happens. Nothing. All right. All right, in my turn. Um, All I'm right, Proud. Put the magical circle again. All right. Centered where? Um, can we get Pandora in it if I'm kind of near the front of the circle? Or is she completely retreated? If we can't get her in it, then try and get all five of us in the circle. So maybe centered right in the center square. Like right there. Do you want me to move to where I want it centered? No, I can sort of see if you want to, you want to be at the leading edge of it. Yeah. So it's about like this. That's close enough. Yes, like that. Glyph starts spinning around the ground. Are you going to move? No. Do I need to put the effect on the uh, it didn't help last time, so okay. I'll just I'll I'll just do it manually. Okay. Great. That's it. All right, Philip. They're so, too high for you to hit with a sword anyway. Well yeah, with the sword, could I would it be any use to try to hit them with my bow? Sure. Or well, am I Roland gonna have like, a disadvantage? Roland did. Yeah. With but no I disadvantage. Just Okay. Yeah, you just attack normally with your bow. What kind of bow do you use? Uh, short. You hit it. Short bow. You hit it. You notice Asok is changing his weapons. <laughs> He's not pulling out the dagger. He's pulling out a club. Because they like to use the earthy stuff. Because it scares yep. them more. At the end of your turn? Yeah. Flying dead number seven cannot cross, but can fly to here and attack Azok. He's going to have disadvantage because of the circle. He, first, it's attacking with its beak. Hits. Now it's attacking with its claws. Oh, I have to roll that again. It was also a disadvantage. It still hit. Asok is heavily damaged. We lose the whole campaign if Asok dies? Yes. Hmm. I, I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> so the answer is going to be yes. Whatever frightens you. <laughs> Someone's hey, hey, now I was gonna say spear, but he's attacking with a club. Got dibs on his dagger. 
hits. Yeah, I made a mistake here. I'm supposed to have a club on Asok, so I'm going to have to figure out this damage is going to be the creature is particularly vulnerable so this, to this damage, so he's going to do it twice. There we go. Because it's vulnerable to bludgeoning damage, like any other skeleton you've ever seen. Pandora is not going to move. Next flying dead coming in at Cloud. It has disadvantage coming in with its beak. Missed. Now it's coming in with the disadvantage again, coming in with its claws. Missed. Dropped at 18 and missed with a 9. Wow. That circle's awesome. All right. Yeah, the circle really is awesome. All right, Roland. All right, we're going to go with Sharpshooter again. Negative 5. Proud it strikes you that you actually carry the right kind of weapon. There we go. That was sharpshooter two, negative five, so plus ten. Plus ten to which one? That was number two. Okay. Riz. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast Scorching Ray at 1, so it'll do the attack, then damage, attack, then damage. Wait a minute. Okay. Missed the first one. Hit. That took that one down. Awesome. Okay, so I'll switch. And then do the last roll. Hit. Damaged it hard. All right, I am my turn. Proud, you notice that Asok is nearly passed out. I can help him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would rather see you run up here and shove him out of the way and say, get on my way, boy, and then you smash it with your, you smash it with your hammer. All I see is proud being like such a good mama hen. Just going, <laughs> I can save you, don't worry. <laughs> I do feel for him. I like how she mumbled it. Yeah. <laughs> well, Asok's been a good helper. It's like reminding herself. She's like, oh yeah, I can, I can help him. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay. Well done. <laughs> I get up here where I need to be for him. Now I can be within 30 feet of him. <laughs> this is great. You know what? I'm what not. Him with? Oh, prayer, prayer of healing. Prayer of healing. I got it. You can just drop it on him. On you can just drop the effect on Asok. You don't really even need to target him. Oh, okay. You can just take the effect and drop it on Asok on the combat tracker. Is the shortcut for doing that. Wow, that helped him quite a bit. That was a fourteen. That was good. Okay, Philip. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna use my uh, lay on hands, and I'm gonna okay. give it to him. To to Asok? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm not really questioning. That. Nope, nope. <laughs> yep, I get you. And then he's in my like sword range, right? Flying yes. Dead. One attack, yes, yeah. because of the lay hands. Nice. Good. Heavy damage. Good job. The flying dead continues to attack Asok, but with disadvantage. It rolls a three. Missed. 
Okay, I'll we'll do it on the second. It rolls a three and misses. Because uh, I was late. Asok pulls out his club. Right. Attacks, misses. And Dora doesn't move. Rolling. Sharp shooter. Hit. Nice. That took it out. Yeah. Now, Asok hey. doesn't build a fire this time, but he does start crushing the bones. Do I want to take a, a long break? Yeah. This isn't a horrible place to end. It's yeah. up to you guys if you want to continue. It's eight four, We're 41 minutes past normal time. I'd like to end. Yeah, we uh, probably yeah. should. So, uh, since people have to work and so forth, we are looking at next week, I hope? Yeah. Yep. yep. I had the wrong sound. We're in the desert. I didn't even notice. I, know, <laughs> I, I, I didn't even notice. That's the problem with me, too. I get all excited about what we're doing <laughs> and so forth. So you guys are in the company of Asok trying to head toward the Oasis and his people. He seems completely unfamiliar with the rest of the... What you sort of figured out over time is he seems completely unfamiliar with, like, if you had talked to him about New Asher, he wouldn't know what you were talking about. His people are very separate. Well, right. Like, I I mean, we didn't even know they existed. I, I thought the desert was going to be, like, nothing but undead. I did, yeah. too. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's, he'll tell you the desert is filled with undead. He says, what we call you call undead, we just call the dead. The desert is filled with the dead. They hate the living. He he holds up that club. He holds up that that club he picked up. But they but they hate these too. <laughs> All right, you guys, that was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, oh, you did. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much.